We are back today for another episode of Pack Attack, and I just never know what they're gonna throw at me. We just had a flash sale last week, and now we had another one. So the fact that we got another one made me less confident that we're gonna, we're gonna get another one right at the end of the season, so I hopped on it. We've got some packs to open before we get into the game today. But before we do that, we gotta go back to last episode, because last episode is up to 33 likes, so that is gonna be an automatic 3,003 hundred stubs going towards our packs after the game today so as always if you want to add stubs towards the next episode all you got to do is hit that like button we also managed to add another 10,145 stubs to the bank so that brought us up to 78,855 and we are not staying there for long but one last announcement before we get into our packs starting next episode so monday we are going to start pack it attack week and a half i'm giving myself more than a week we haven't done a pack attack week yet on mlb 23 so this will be the first one so if you guys are new all that means is we're just gonna play pack attack we're gonna have a new episode every single day until the end of the season starting monday and the reason we're starting so soon there's actually a couple reasons the first one is just because last season i said we were going to do pack attack week and then i never did but then also we haven't been off to the best start this season we've won lost one lost and we're basically right where we started so we're going to need to get as many games in as possible if we want to have any chance of getting up to world series this season and even a chance at getting over 800 before the this one ends so that'll give us i forget if it's either nine or ten consecutive days of pack attack before the season's over so yeah hopefully i can keep up with it hopefully you guys keep up with it because i'm gonna need to almost completely change my schedule around and you guys are gonna have to like the videos sooner to add those stubs on but the fact that we are doing that is why i felt comfortable spending well pretty much all of our stubs in the bank once again because we're gonna build it up double quick now so we really only had three rounds of flash sales available because the last round of it was just another free pack and we can't open free packs on pack attack so here is what i bought the first and second offers the first one was a chase pack from season three or a season three eligible player so that goes back to the two season two chase back pack players this one cost us 30k and then the one that's probably the most exciting is a guaranteed rare round player from either the draft pack the derby pack or the all-star game pack that one cost us 40k so in total we spent 70,000 stubs from the bank so that drops us right back under 10k and now we gotta build it back up again just in case they have another flash sale or something now this one's not a guarantee obviously since it only costs 30k they're not gonna guarantee us one of these players so this one still could be a dud it still could be a waste of stubs and let's be honest it probably will be but i do think i know who i want out of this one and i don't think who i pull from this would change that but let's just open this one first anyway since this one's random so we're looking for gold lights here that's all we really care about is seeing the gold lights and preferably we'd get one of the season three players or set three players because the set two players are only going to be usable for the next like week and a half so what do we got chase pack it is the gold lights we got one now it's just a matter of who it is Oh my god, was this a good pack? It's Ellie De La Cruz! If I got to pick which one I could take, this would be who it would be. I can't believe I'm that lucky. This is the second time I've pulled him on this account too. It's just the first time it wasn't able to count for pack attack. Oh my god. This might be the curse breaker for the shortstop position. That is so huge because now we get him for the rest of this season. We get him for all the next season. I cannot believe we actually just got that lucky. I, I did not think that was going to happen. Oh my god. That just makes me feel smart for spending all of our stuff here because we're going to be adding two 99s now the only options we have from this pack are hitters because we already have paul skeens everybody else is a hitter and i remember saying right after i took skeens and thought maybe he was a mistake that if i get this pack again and get that round again i'd go with dylan cruz and i still think that's who i want there's some good options here there definitely is but i think the best one i'm seeing here is to pick the number two pick 
in the MLB draft this year. Get Dylan Cruz. He's just well-rounded. Great contact, good power, good in the field, good speed. He's got it all, and now he's going to be on our team. So let's go ahead. Let's lock this one in. Dylan Cruz. And there we go. Two new 99 overalls added to the team today. Two huge ones. The toughest thing now is going to be, how am I going to fit these guys both on the team that we have right now? I can't believe this is how this team looks like now with these two new guys. I think this is what I'm going to go with to set up this team for now. Obviously, just going to move Ellie to short. And then for now, I'm just going to move Mookie to the bench because, I mean, I wasn't hitting that great with him anyway. So I'm going to go with Seager over Mookie. And then the reason I have Cruz at DH right now is just because as weird as it looks with him being that good of a fielder, he's actually the worst outfielder of the four choices we have right now. Not by much, but Eric Davis is in a secondary, but he's technically a better fielder than Dylan Cruz is, so we just got him on the bench for now. Or not on the bench, DHing. He'll get his chance to get out to center field once this season's over, and honestly, with how much pack attack we're going to play in these next couple weeks, he could get himself all the way up to parallel two and get that diamond defense badge out in center by the time he actually moves to center. So then, yeah, I moved Ronald to the bench, got rid of our Trey Turner, so now... Acuna is our speed option. And then I think, honestly, it's still a while away now. Still many games away. But with what we have now, we're not really going to miss much of a beat once we have to transition over to season four. Because I know it's not like I was great with these three players anyway but they're still usable i still could be good with them so like i'm thinking we can probably just move cruz to center mookie to right jacob gonzalez to third and then acuna can move back to dh and that would look like an okay team because i'd keep abreu around as the wild card so we're not going to be losing him and then yeah we've got it all covered obviously we're still looking for more before the next season especially in this bullpen because yanir cano is going to be the only card we have left that's a diamond and then obviously we're going to have to look to replace both lynn and hal but for now maybe apart from some bullpen weakness I think this team is pretty ready to just go on a tear. So we're now ready to hop into our game. 48 and 14 is the record. 705 is the rating. Coming off a loss in last game, but since the dude was so high above us in the rating, we didn't drop back under 700. So we're still going to be on Hall of Fame today. We've got Dylan Cruz and Ellie batting 1 2 in this new batting order. So we get to see them right away. So if you guys enjoy what you see today, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We do have to go with Chase Dollander on the mound, who might be our weakest starting pitcher right now. We're facing a lefty, a 70 or 97 overall lefty. I feel like he should not be tough to hit. I wasn't paying enough attention to see what boost he had, but I was paying enough attention to see that he had a boost. What are we looking at record-wise? 35 and 13 that's manageable that's fine i mean think of the two bats also that just got replaced like mookie and acuna were not giving us too much production so like we have a chance to really swing what the offense is gonna do and that's a good start for dollander one pitch one out there we go got him way out in front of that circle change it's a good first two batters for dollander that's jammed there. Oh, Davis. Oh, he did get there. Oh, he got the worst reaction I think I've ever seen from somebody with a gold fielding badge. I mean, he looked like common fielding 50 reaction Lane Thomas from the March to October out there in right field. Okay, that's a good start. Take the strike, swing at the ball. But then we're going deep. Took it to a 3-2 count and Dylan Cruz goes perfect, perfect to center in his first AB. Oh my god, is this what I've been missing out on for weeks by taking skeins? And Ellie's got one too? Back-to-back -back shots on circle changes for our two new 99s. Are you kidding me? You could not draw up a better way to start with two brand new players. And oh my God, I completely forgot to mention that we lost Eddie also. Eddie was who I had to take off the bench when I uh, put Ellie in at short. So, he, I mean, he had some moments with the team. He hasn't been a starter for a while. He's been camping out on the bench, but 
Now he's gone. There we go. We get to see Ellie over there at short with that cannon. Wow. I also just realized that both of the players that we added almost have a very similar last name. Like Dylan Cruz spelled that way, but then Ellie De La Cruz spelled that way. And then they're both going deep back to back. That's not going to be two. That actually was fortunate that that wasn't two for him to put on the board. And then we punch him out with the heat up 99 at the chin. That's two scoreless. Let's score some more. It's crazy that we have a team now that looks the way it does. And Seager's still holding out for a spot. What do we got here? What do we got here, Seager? Not only is he still on the roster, but he's still doing damage. 21 homers for him now. Just barely got that one out. Oh, man. I don't have a high elevation on this stadium, but 88.8 .8 miles per hour would have been one I got angry about last episode. Oh, that should have been back-to-back -back again. Timing was there. I just thought it was going to break more. Ah, now I'm getting jammed popping it up. That is where he's been having some success so far today. I don't think I got enough of that one with Canna, but we added another one on this three solo shots so far. We got ourselves a nice lead. Oh, that was a nice spot with that slider. Is Davis going to get there? Oh my god. You can't take Cal out. How does nobody know this? Did they change something and I'm the dumb one? Or does everybody just make this mistake? You can't take your captain out this early. You gotta wait till the six. That's what they say. I don't know. I, I'm starting to second guess myself because that's three games in a row now that we've played somebody who's taken their captain out too early. Something must have changed and they just didn't update their, their handbook thing. There we go. Curve in the dirt to get Schwarber. That's my favorite way to strike somebody out. Oh, he's going to get on with that. That does not ever need to be a hit. God. Oh, I was so confident that was a strike. It was a strike. Oh, no. That was a perfect pitch. Come on. We can't let this turn into something. A jammed grounder the other way and then a non-called strike three. And now he's not even getting his check swings called. Air. No, oh my God. Game. No. Bad game. There we go. Sit him down. 101 up. And he's getting a first pitch base hit this time two for two for dylan cruz i mean when i saw that cutter floating in my eyes kind of lit up i thought he was gonna hit another one out that's ah, gonna get caught for sure isn't it way too much under that one yeah that's a shame i mean i know we got him out on one way foul and now he's just returning the favor but neither of us would have gotten an out like that if i was allowed to mess with the uh, foul dimensions of a created stadium that sounded like it was hit hard that's not going to get caught okay got to get up to second and third on this with one out uh we're gonna have to turn that into deep enough 92 speed should be plenty yeah we got a good good jump on that and we're in all right had to at least do that in that at bat willie there's no way that has enough carry yeah. All right. Well, we added another one on. We're still scoring here. Am I going to start getting strikes called here? That's two times now that I should have had a called third strike. Okay. I guess he just can't hit the heat. So that's the, that's the safety net. We don't get our called third strike. He'll take another off-speed pitch out of the zone. So then we'll just have to go up and in. There we go, another grounder right back to Dollander, fielding his position today. Okay, yeah, no, there was no saving that. <laughs> that was right down the middle. He finally made the decision to be on the heat, and that was the one that I just left right over the plate. All right, well, there goes the hopes for a shutout today. Oh, he was on that, too. I was not expecting that, but we'll get it for out number three. He only got one back. Oh, man, he went up and in on me and got me. That might actually be, like, the first time he's thrown that straight heat. 
I haven't seen 97 yet. Oh, now he's just relying on it. Okay, we'll we'll try and take that away. I can't tell. Oh, he's not going for it. We might have gotten another one here. All right, just barely enough carry. 413 straightaway center for Eric Davis. Got him on that backdoor cutter. That wasn't that bad of a pitch. I just saw it. God, okay, so that fastball is working now. That's that's getting me when he's using it in the right spots. Okay, you can't do that. Wish we could have turned that into a little bit more on a bad hanging curve like that. Oh, and he can get out. I was actually on top of that sinker. He set it up by throwing those fastballs up and in all of a sudden. Okay, that, that'll stay in, so it's fine. I just was not really expecting him to be on that. Oh, there we go. Couldn't hold up on a perfect curve. I think that's what we got Schwarber on last time. Oh, man. All right. He, uh, he was trying to take that away and expand it a little bit. Ellie, there we go. There's his second hit, matching Dylan Cruz overall now. I might want to try and take off with him at some point here. Oh, he's just going to slide step every pitch now because I'm leading off. Honestly, Ellie's so tall that like his base lead without a leadoff is already pretty far off the base. I might not even really need to lead off with him to steal. Hey, I mean, if we can make him slide step every pitch, that's a plus. Oh my god, really? Usually if they're slide stepping it makes it easier to hit what they're throwing, but now now I can't. There we go, Willie. There we go. I mean if that's the effect that Ellie has without even stealing a base, that's pretty good. Seeger, that's gonna be his second hit of the game now, alright. Another base hit, alright, maybe something cooking here with two outs? One big swing from Adley. He's going to go to a new arm. He's going to go to the righty. Make Adley turn around. Oh, and we hit it on the ground. Look at that swing. I was all over that. Well, if the offense is going to keep it up, I'm hoping one way or another we can end this game early. And if we can't end this game early, Dollander needs to hold out there on the mound. Finish this thing. Pitch count's getting up a little bit to the point where that energy's down to about a third. He's still got a little bit to go before it's a problem. And there we go. That's what we need. Just make some outs. That'll be another out on only one more pitch. That is ideal right now. That's going to get through, isn't it? Oh, Seeger made the play. Oh, man, that was actually really close. There we go, though. One more pitch to get a grounder. Ever since I said we needed quick outs, we got contact on the first pitch of every at-bat. Oh, is he done? He's done. What a game. What a fun game. I scored in every inning, but we saw the immediate impact of both of our new players. Both of them getting two hits, two homers, or a homer apiece, seven runs on 11 hits in five innings on Hall of Fame. That's me back to playing about as well as I'm going to play. So if we can keep that going, that's going to bode really well for a World Series push. And we got a pretty big chunk there, plus 31 up to 736 now. And here's what we got from that one. Hitting made us 11,800 stubs. On the mound, we made another 4,800. And then the bonus categories adding on another 7,036. We flipped back again now to a one game winning streak. And now we have five parallel ones, 10 twos, four threes and two fours and that gives us a nice even multiplier of times 1.4 so we get a final stub count today of 33,090 and all right here's what we were able to get from that we got four duos from the new set 32 and then actually packs right now are 20 percent off or show packs are 20 percent off the duos were normal price so that let us get three packs from the leftover stubs instead of two which we normally would have gotten so let's see if that extra show pack was worth it let's rip open these three first we did get a gold jersey 
and a silver. Decent enough for the stub bank there from a show pack. Another gold and another silver. Okay. Making some stub bank back little by little after spending it all. And a gold player. Kimbrel. I don't think I'd put him in the bullpen. Man, as far as three show packs go though, not bad. But these are the new diamond duos today. Pack 32. We got Curtis Granderson. This, this is a really good card. We have a crowded outfield though, so I don't know what I'd do if I pull him. But who I really would like is this Aaron Nola. I think this card looks really good. 117 hits per nine with 125 clutch. Five pitches with a sinker and a cutter. So let's see if we can go ahead and pull one of them. It's been a long time since we've gotten one of the duo players out of a normal duo pack, but uh, I mean, it's not like we've been short on pack luck today. We've already had plenty by pulling Ellie De La Cruz. But let's see, we got four chances. You never know. First one's just going to be some silvers. Still three more chances. The second pack here, we got more another silver. Halfway done here, two to go. Let's not just pull four silvers. Please, game, at least give me a gold. At least give me something. Last chance. One last duo pack. And yeah, four silvers. That was 30,000 stubs for four total duo packs to be worse overall than three show packs. I don't know though, man. I can't be mad. Not with what we're able to do at the start by getting Ellie and Dylan, putting up seven runs, winning the game. I really could not be much happier with how this team is looking right now. The only thing obviously is bullpen. So once again, guys, make sure that you go ahead and leave a like on this episode so we can go ahead and add 100 stubs for each like towards the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. And also don't forget that next episode episode is starting pack attack week and a half so there's another reason to subscribe if you were looking for one but guys thanks for watching today thanks for stopping by and i will see you next time